Welcome to the weather forecast this week in Thailand. The country is expected to enter the winter season by the end of November and shall end by the month of February of 2022. The weather has been changing frequently, causing a lot of people to have a stuffy and runny nose. Stuffy nose are symptoms of chronic nasal obstruction often directly affects the quality of people's life. It can cause insomnia or insufficient sleep which leads to lack of rest at night and results in loss of concentration during daily activities. If left untreated, it may have negative impacts on other systems of our body. Nose obstruction, usually from the structure inside our nose that gets congested or swelling. So the most concerned organ in our nose is called the turbinate, especially the, the lower one, or in medical term, we call the inferior turbinate. If it becomes enlarged, it will block inside your nose and make patients feel very difficult to breathing in and breathing out. So if you leave the inferior turbinate to be congested for a long time, most of the time it will impact patient quality of life, especially daily activity or sleep quality or feeling comfort when breathing is, is gone is not good for patient uh, feeling. These days, with the help of technological advancement, radio frequency treatment, known as RF in short, is the insertion of the radio frequency through a needle into the turbinate to reduce inflammation inside the nasal cavity. This will improve breathing and airflow of the nose while reduces a stuffy and runny nose as well as post-nasal drip. RF turbinoplasty is designed to reduce the inferior turbinate size, but it doesn't mean every patient that have the nose congestion can be performed the RF turbinoplasty because inside our nose we also have a sinus, a nasal septum that can be another factor that cause the nose obstruction. So if you already consult with the doctor and the main problem is from the inferior turbinate, that means you can be treated with the RF turbinoplasty. So the method of do the RF turbinoplasty right now we can do in office base. That means patient just can walk in and we can do the local anesthesia uh, injection. And after that we can do the procedure. And it will take around 15 to 20 minutes in terms of the procedure. And after the procedure, we have to observe the patient bleeding for another 30 minutes. So in total time, it will take around one hour for this treatment. The radio frequency treatment has quick recovery period. However, stuffy nose may increase in the first two to three days of receiving the treatment. That is why doctors suggest to sleep with your head raised above the body level and closely follow physician's instructions. The symptoms will then gradually subside and improve eventually. Wetani, victory for life.